Here we are again, weekend shave, many thanks, Mrs H. Welcome to Sunday, and I hope it's going to be, or if you're watching this in the day, I hope it is uh, a nice day so far for you, and that was some good shaves. Nice sunny, sunny day here, so uh, it's forecast to get better next week, hotter, which is nice. Uh, at least the weather cheers us up, eh? Right, okay, so I've got three new products in this uh, video, two of which I never thought I'd be using um, because they've come all the way from Austria. Felix in Austria, thank you very much, sir. Um, this package was a worry, wasn't it? And uh, it, um, anyway, it arrived in the end, and I'm very happy it did because it contained, and um, Felix has gifted me two packs of blades, uh, some beautiful wafer biscuits for Mrs. H, which she loves, um, and some razors, and you're gonna see them in turn. Now, the one I'm using today is this. It is the Mule R89 Twist. The reason it's called a twist, it's quite simple. Two-piece razor, very Edwin Jagger, D89 head-ish. Very, very similar. And he sent me these. Now I've heard of these, but I've never tried them. Wilkinson Sword Economy Blades. Um, and he says they're much the same as the normal Wilkinson Sword Blades. Um, they're wrapped the same, that's the wrapper. Um, so we'll see. It's not a difference. So it's just the Wilkinson Sword branding on it. Brand new. Place one on the head of the razor and we will begin to twist. We can get hold of it properly. There we go. That's it. Nice and tight. There is a slight overhang to be aware of. But, um, so there we go. Thank you, Felix. Uh, I thought I'd go down. Oh, this is the. the, the, the <laughs> The brush. Now you may have seen this in other um, videos. Um, you may have seen it if you've been to the Andrew uh, AP Shave Company website for my last video. Uh, or you may own one yourself, I'm not sure. But all eyes were wide open on when you took, the, uh, took this out the box. <laughs> I don't know how this shows on camera, but... Uh, you just can't stop looking at it. It's uh, <laughs> twisting it and looking. And if you look through a window with the sun on it, it's it's gorgeous. It is. It's called the Ivory and Gold. It's a signature series handle, and this is the Jealousy SHD, which is a super high density knot, badger knot. Um, and what is it? I wrote it here. Twenty four millimeter, and it's seventeen millimeter set into the into the handle. So. Beautiful, very high density, quite very well packed. Uh, same procedure with this. I've um, lathered it up with an antibacterial soap, left it for 10 minutes, and then rinsed it thoroughly and dried it. And now it's been soaking in this little pot here. So um, that's that. Soap, we're going to head to a classic, a German classic, Tabac. Um, there's a couple of... And the one I like about these, they come in these porcelain um, bowls, beautiful. Or some call it uh, um, like milk glass. We used to have cups made this similar thing in, in the 70s, I think it was. Uh, milk glass. And what I, I'll tell you, well, well, let's get going first. Right. First question, how's the weekend going? How's the week been? And I hope you're in good health along with your family. So we're gonna, let me just empty this. I'm gonna lather this, lather this up. I have um, sort of, well, if you can see the top there, that white bit, I have sort of put a few drops on the top of this to sort of um, bloom it. But we're gonna go in. It's a good soap, I've used it many times. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna tell you. Years ago, 
mainly probably well in the 80s I couldn't bear the scent I couldn't stand the scent of this and another one was Joven Musk it's funny didn't like them at all now in later years I love it so I think certain scents you have to mature to enjoy them maybe I don't know it is for me um, I really enjoy them now same as the Wilkinson sword the basic soap in the blue tub you can buy in the supermarkets here uh, it's a black tub now I believe but the blue one I couldn't stand the scent of horrible scent good soap but now I enjoy that so it's <laughs> it's weird isn't it right that'll do we'll gather that'll do look at that beautiful I think this is called the um, it's the bulb yeah the bulb knot I uh, should have shown you that before I lathered it up, but that's what it holds. That's what it holds the soap like, so we'll add water as well. Yeah, really enjoy it now. It's a classic, isn't it? And it just, the more you do, the look at this, it's a classic, uh, iconic look that is lathered on the brush. And it just keeps producing it. And I don't think I need any water on that. Wow, look at that. Okay. Thank you, Andrew, AP Shades Company. And many thanks, and thank goodness, to uh, Felix arrived. So many thanks. Here we go. First pass. Using the Wilkinson Sword Economy Blade, brand new. Let's tidy up. Hang on. Come on, standards. Good heavens. Day of the Sabbath. Here we go. I was going to say that that's a lovely razor. So it's aggression wise D89. Um, 89. Beautiful razor. Very slick soap. Wow. Um, the blade, to be honest, because I think that probably the same blade, it feels slightly, very slightly, there's a difference in aggression. It, at this moment, it feels slightly more aggressive than a standard Wilkinson saw blade. But it could be the same blade, it could be this razor that's making it feel like that. We'll see though, we'll judge. Bit further on. Ah no. See on the moustache area it feels the same. So maybe it just maybe it just threw me a bit. Yeah no, it is the same. It feels the same as a standard isn't it? Nothing much there. It just felt then for a minute. I thought, wow. Very nice. That whiskers pouring out. Wow. That's nice. So it looks like we're going to have a nice day. Hey, you doing much today? You relaxing? You working? Are you shaving? <laughs> um, mine's more or less the same. Uh, probably pop in the garden. 
just uh, potter about. We've got lots of things growing. Um, strawberries, herbs, ch uh, chives and stuff like that, mint, um, tomatoes and I've just put some leeks in which I was given. So just check them, make sure they're all okay and moisture, enough moisture on them, water. Here we go, this brush is stunning to look at, to hold. Uh, similar handles to what I've got um, bef in, over there, some of them much the same sort of shape, but uh, the design of that's beautiful. You got to admit, you can't stop looking at it. If you've got children, they'd love this to be staring at it. Well, I'm like a kid, anyway. So Mrs. H loved this. I said, Come here, I said, I need it. Yeah, beautiful soft brush. High density, but feels like. Wow, that holds a lather well. But it feels, I thought it'd feel a bit tougher than this, would have been a high density, but it feels beautifully soft. And this is the first use. I'll put all the details in the uh, description as usual of anything I can. But uh, really nice shave, so if I'm really happy with this. So the mule. I know I'm probably saying it wrong, I butcher a lot of things, but uh, you know, I'm not from them countries and I try my best. I wouldn't expect anyone to pronounce Welsh words with a Welsh native tongue, but uh, you know, we're all different, but I try my best. Hopefully I don't insult anybody. Not intended anyway. R89, Mule R89. Wilkinson Sword, Economy Blade. Brand new. Very efficient, lovely. Slickness of the soap is good. As you can see, hardly took, well, for my type of lather, hardly took any time at all. Many thanks, Felix. And they'll be very well looked after and used. And Andrew, many thanks. AP Shave Company. So I wish you all the best in your business. And I tell you what, if you're making stuff like this, you're going to be doing okay. That's beautiful. I love it. Okay, so, hey, long time asking. Shave of the day, please, S-O-T-D, baby. S-O-T-D time, baby. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna start, don't worry. <laughs> there we go. Put myself off then, it's the third pass, that's right. We'll add a bit more water. So you can quite easily load this brush and it'll hold more than enough for three passes. Slightly, slightly wetter, slightly thinner on this application because I've not gone back to the puck. I just added a bit of water on each application. There we go. The jobs are good, as my father used to say. It's hard to believe, I was thinking, uh, well, I think a lot of my dad, as, um, well, many of you, as I was do if you've lost your father, but um, I was thinking back, you know, third pass now, uh, against the growth, R89. I was thinking back to uh, a few memories of him and things he say and you know that type of stuff, but uh, it's 
time seems to go so quickly uh, now he's gone I don't know just when you were young I think well it did time dragged God, school day all day you're waiting oh it seemed a long day and the summer holidays six weeks I seem forever but now it's just gone it's probably an age thing as you get older Absolutely beautiful, smooth, very much like the Edwin Jagger D89, that's another good razor. Very good for doing under the nose, <laughs> lip corners. Carefully, because there's nothing more annoying. That's beautiful, and uh, dinner today is going to be a. It is going to be a traditional Sunday roast dinner, and then um, I'll tell you what that's going to be now, because at the moment it's. Time for three, two, one, pick up time, baby. Yeah. Okay, pick up time. Yeah, so today is going to be a roast pork, little roast pork joint. It's called a crackling joint because it's, it's they don't score it very well. Scoring it means cutting into the skin. So I do it, I've got proper knives and I make it even and proper. And then uh, what you do is you bring the what I do is bring it to room temperature, the meat, and then um, for about an hour out the fridge, and then score it, which cuts the skin, salt it, in the oven then, hot as the oven will go for 20 minutes, bring it down to a normal temperature, 160, 180 C, cook the joint, and then the last sort of 20 minutes, full blast again and you get a beautiful crusty crispy crackling what well, I mean <laughs> I always started a cooking program now and uh, doing some cream salted no sorry buttered salted mash potatoes and uh, some mashed swede turnip and carrots mash them together and carrots and swede and lashentos of gravy nibbling on a few pieces of uh, crunchy salty crackling as we go probably <laughs> beautiful so this is a beautiful slick soap, just a few bits. Losing its slickness there a bit. Gotta be careful of that children. Right, that's beautiful. Cold water and we're going to stay wet. You might have guessed. Using our friend Alum. That's beautiful. I 
This will give you an indication if you've cut yourself or you've had a really a too close shave because it'll uh, sting a bit. <laughs> okay, we'll have another rinse now. Not stinging today. Okay, beautiful. Oh, this is a lie. Ah, this is. Oh, I got some vintage cider from. Uh, well, Mrs. H got it from. Aldi? Yeah, Aldi. I usually have cloudy lemon, but. Uh, Tabac aftershave? Has to be. Yeah, I really like this now. It's a classic, isn't it? It's one my dad never used, so maybe that's why I didn't like No, not because he didn't have it, but uh, I wasn't used to the scent or something. It didn't mean anything at the time. But I wasn't keen on it as a kid, but I love it now. It's the same as a, a Joven musk. I'll have to get some of that. Joven. I seen some the other day. And that's what reminded me. And I always think of the two together. Because I, you know, wasn't keen on them. And then, I love this stuff, Nivea Originals, to give us some uh, bit of moisture and care and protection. Don't need a lot of that. And then it's time to go cooking, baby. So if you're coming round, let us know. Put another plate out on the table. Another knife and fork. And just put a note yes or no which means you want a drink and you want some crackling on the side <laughs> poor crackling oh. right very quickly now sorry if i've gone on nothing new there the mule r89 twist really enjoyed this razor very nice thank you uh, felix again uh, it's arrived and uh, really enjoyed it it's a d89 in aggression and looks but it's a really nice nice razor nicely balanced um ap shave company this is the signature uh, one of the signature series handles the ivory and gold and this is a 26 isn't it 24 nearly got it wrong 24 millimeter um super high density badger brush not uh, really nice very soft even on the first use um, really soft and uh, works really nicely holds that lather still a lot there now love it thank you Andrew uh, Tabac shaving soap a classic from Germany um, the Wilkinson sword economy blades like I said in the beginning they did sort of put me onto the wrong rail for a minute I thought oh these are slightly more aggressive than the standard ones I use but it soon became apparent using it now, it's, it was the same. It just, maybe it was um, something with this that felt a bit different. Uh, can happen sometimes. So, I loved it. Good blade for me. I like it, Wilkinson saw. They've always been good with me. And um, in most razors. So that was the uh, that. Then we rinsed with cold water. We used alum. We rinsed again. We dried off, then we used tobacco aftershave, and then we've used Nivea Originals at the end. And that's it, that's a perfect start to the day for me. Uh, so, looking forward to the rest of the day. Hope you have some great shaves, by the way. Thanks for all the comments again and the, the support on the channel. Uh, watching, taking your time out to watch these, I really appreciate it. And thanks for your company, thanks for the chat. Um, and have a great day and I'll see you on Wednesday for the midweek shave so uh, take care and many thanks